You are watching CTV. I will once again remind you that um, this year, 25 years of existence of Catholic Diocese as, um, as a diocese um, a couple of years ago, 2018, we celebrated 100 years of the existence of the Catholic Church in, in Kano. And so all these years, what we've received has been lots and lots of blessings. And so today we thank God for this and um, we pray the good Lord to um, guide us even as we come to the end of the first 25 years and now we are planning another journey of um, many years to come in the future. And so I would like to thank all who have made many contributions, those alive and those who are dead, that have made contribution towards the growth of the church here. Um, next year, uh, God willing, there will be the 100th anniversary of the first Catholic church in Kano. The church is still in existence and it is still in use. And so next year, um, the day of consecration, the anniversary of consecration is thought is third of May, third of May um, uh, next year. So because it was consecrated on the third of May, 1925. So 2025, it will be um, 100 years old. So it's been blessings and blessings and blessings. And when you compare what that building, uh, that building can hardly take half of these people here. But that was the whole church for the whole of Kano, the church for the whole of Kano. So you see that we have grown so much. We have many, the city of Kano has over 16 parishes. So there has been a lot and lot, lots and lots of growth. So we thank God for this occasion. And then when we think about this growth, we also have to think about the manpower. And that is why today we thank God for our brothers here, yeah? Reverend Father Dan Debo, Elia Mark, Mark, Marcus, and Reverend Father Linus Ogugua Odo, uh, who today have, been, have received the sacrament of um, ordinations. And so uh, this is a sign that um, God is always providing for us. He does not allow us to stay without shepherds. So we have more hands now. And um, even as we think of, we think of Kano, we also think about many parts of the world. Because we have had missionaries, we've had missionaries from Kano priests who are working in dioceses outside of Nigeria. And so th those are some of the fruits of the work of evangelization in, um, in Kano. The Catholic prayer is always directed to the Father, through the Father, through the Son, in the Holy Spirit. So you say, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son. And so that's where we end. But every time, 30 years ago, you didn't hear in the Catholic Church, in Jesus' name we pray. Those of us who, who are old enough to know, you didn't hear that. But now, because we just go anywhere, everybody is watching television, and what do you see? They are hearing in Jesus' name, and everybody is, everybody is repeating in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. And we do know that, uh, even in Scripture, we, we are told that you uh, use in Jesus' name. But, historically, when you come to think about it, anybody can say, when you say Lord Jesus Christ, that is an act of faith. Lord Jesus is an act of faith. It's an act in which you believe in Jesus. Anybody can just say Jesus. But when you say Lord Jesus, that is an act of faith. And that's why we say, through our Lord Jesus Christ. So that is an act of faith. You are expressing your faith in Jesus Christ. So that is very profound. Rather than just saying in Jesus' name, say through our Lord Jesus Christ. And then when you say your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, then you are also indicating incarnation and all of that. And that is the Christian way of, the Catholic way of praying. And today we are shifting away. And um, that is not too good for us. So the... Uh, what we have to do here is that um, we need to be people who take 
preaching seriously. We need to be people who study very hard to know what we should say and try to invest more in literature that can help you build theological vocabulary that you have forgotten or that uh, you didn't know because you didn't have sufficient time in the seminary to study. So in conclusion, in every generation, the life and ministry of priests are always a challenge and opportunity. We, the church, the family of God, should pray for our priests that they be joyful and loving in their life, committing themselves to their ministry of preaching and administering the sacraments. May God bless you on this occasion of our celebration of our 25th anniversary and also on this occasion of our priestly coronation through Christ our Lord. Amen. You are watching CTV 